Welcome guys, my name is Lango and today we are going to learn how to send analog value into the Cayenne dashboard. So now I'm going to be using the Wemos DR, D1R1 ESP8266 version, but this very tutorial can work on any any ESP8266 including the Node MCU. So now, if it's your first time to hear the Cayenne dashboard, I want to ensure you that the Kayan dashboard is an IoT platform that allows you to host your device. So when you go to Google and type in Kayan dashboard, I think the first one to pop will be the one that we need to use. So now you click on it, you're going to have the same interface as this one. So if you're new, you got to click on sign up for free. If you have an account already, just like me, you need to click on sign in. So now what you're gonna do is I already have an account, gotta use my username, which is put in my email, then put in my password, then log in. So now after I am in, there is some very useful information that we have. You know, we have the Raspberry Pi, we have the Arduino, we have the Loro, and we have the bring your own thing. So now we are not gonna use any of these, these Raspberry, we're not gonna use the Raspberry Pi, we're not gonna use the Arduino, we're not gonna use the Roller. We're just going to use the one that's not uh, available in the list. That's why I'm gonna choose bring your own thing. So I su suggest you most of the time use bring your own thing because it supports everything. So when you click on it, we have the most important information. You can see right here that we have Arduino MQTT. MQTT is a lightweight protocol that allows the transfer of lightweight data, like sensor values and things like that. So now we got to have the MQTT username, MQTT password, client ID, and the MQTT server. So these informations, keep it in mind, we're going to use it in the future. And when you see down here, you can see that the platform is saying waiting for both to connect. So now what we're going to do is to code some, co to write some codes that and upload them to our ESP8266. Then when we upload after putting the MQTT username and password, it's going to relate our, uh, it's going to upload our ESP8266 in the dashboard. So now, today we're going to send potentiometer values. So I'll put uh, the sketch, or maybe describe the sketch, how everything is connected. So let's code. So what we need to do is to include a Cayenne dashboard library that's called Cayenne MQTT ESP8266.h then we need to define something this is something that's um, uh, a little for debugging purpose which is Cayenne debug then the most important thing is to connect our board to the Wi-Fi so now I have my Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi name is zoom 101 then i'm gonna go and specify the password i'm gonna call it pass with password yes it's an array of course and then i'm gonna specify which what is the password it's 101 x um 101 then go to the next. So now remember the informations that we got right here, the MQTT username, the MQTT password. That's what we're going to bring. So now we're going to define the username. It's going to be an array two echo. So notice I'm going to go ahead and copy this one right here, then paste it here. Next, I'm going to define the um, M QTT pass, which is the password that I'm going to copy from the dashboard, the Cayenne dashboard. It'll be this one. Copy and paste it here. 
So now the third thing is the client. Sorry, it's going to be a character client ID. So now this one too is copied from your dashboard. Put it in there. So now I hope we're so now <clears throat> we can uh, begin serial begin if we need to plant something in the serial monitor begin let's just put in a baud rate of 9600 then we also need to start the cayenne which is cayenne that begin using this function and put in these values so now we're going to start with the username put it in here we're also going to need the mqtt pass Put it in here we also need a client put it right here so now <clears throat> the ssid put it right here the path and the password the wi-fi password then as i said we are going to use the um potentiometer so now it's it's going to be an analog value so but first we need to call the cayenne loop which is ckn dot loop just like that then go ahead and read let's just create a value that's going to hold our analog value which is equal to a0 because the potentiometer is connected to the a0 pin <clears throat> So, uh, sorry, is gonna be um, digital, I mean analog read, analog read, the A0. Then we need to create a function that's going to send our value into the, into the Cayenne dashboard. So now that function is Cayenne dot virtual right so we need to specify which which channel through our data is going to pass so it's going to be the channel one you can name it one zero yeah and put in the value value which is this declared value so now i hope we're done but let's just put something in the serial monitor in case we need to check if everything is working correctly and we need to serial print line new line and display the value so now i need to connect my board with everything connected and I need to go and um, choose the port, which is the COM port 16. I need to also check if it, my, my version is Wemos T1R1, but you can choose also not MC if, the, if it's the one that you're using. Then go ahead and upload. So if everything works correctly, If everything works correctly, we can see, we will see a result in our dashboard. After everything is uploaded successfully, when you go back to the dashboard, you will see that there are some available values, which means these values can change as soon as I adjust the potentiometer. You can see that when I scroll a little, a little, so when I scroll up to the last value, which is 1024, and it's real time so when i go back so i mean i'm i'm, I'm just taking the potentiometer back yeah so now that's how the potentiometer works and i think this is the end of our tutorial don't hesitate if you have something to ask or maybe a suggestion or maybe the next thing that we can do on this channel as a tutorial